Hello everybody, this is the Desert Fox here and where are we? What is this wild place? Well my friends, this is Europa Universalis 4. And that was supposed to go better. There we go. Europa Universalis 4. Single player. Yes. This, my friends, is Europa. And I'm going to be doing a let's play here as Morocco. I did not want to play as Byzantium right off the bat because this is I'm new to the game even though I've played Europa uh, 3 and Crusader Kings 2. Um, I still didn't want to overdo it. So you got um, Byzantium. I promise you a Byzantium let's play later. But for now we're going to go with Morocco because it's a medium nation. You know, I'm pro I might do some random nation let's play so you can set a random nation. I'm going to pick random nations and uh, for you. But for now, I'm going to be Morocco. So, let's begin. So, I'm very excited that this game is finally out. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm certainly excited. Now, um, our meeting, and I'm ready to play. Uh, anyways, our meeting concern here, as Morocco, in my opinion, should be that Portugal is so darn powerful. And Portugal is so darn powerful. That, oh, Tunisia wants an alliance, yeah. And Portugal is so darn powerful, and Castile, that once they get Granada out of the way, they will most definitely come and attack and invade and colonize our great nation. So, in order to be strong, my friends, we must take out, we must combine our Muslim brothers together. Now, I, that, obviously, that's the nice way of saying I'm going to invade Algiers. But we don't have a Cathay Belly on Algiers. So, can't do that. So here's how we're going to roll with this. We're going to try to improve relations. And we're going to try to get them to like us. That's going to be a tough road to follow down, but it's, it's a road we're going to have to deal with. Now, um... We could try to take out Portugal. Um, oh yeah, by the way, let me turn down this uh, the, the uh, game volume. The audio seems a bit loud to me. I don't know about you, about you guys, but I don't want it to ruin the quality of the video. That seems good right there. All right, so um, anyways, sorry if the it was pretty loud at the beginning. Um, I want to go see what the Portuguese Navy has. I'm almost certain it's bigger than mine, but we will see. Ooh, is that the Portuguese Navy? Yep, and the Portuguese Navy is a little bit bigger than ours. So we're going to have to retreat. Now, Kuta is pretty valuable. Um, I do think. I by powerful, I think you should get nice taxes off of it, but um, we don't get Ish Ishmael, Ishmael is our new heir to the throne, I apologize if I pronounce these wrong, if I pronounce these wrong, because um, I most certainly do not, do not know how to pronounce these darn things, and Algiers continuously hates us, the Algerian occupation of Morocco, hmm, well, that can't be good. The Algerian occupation of Morocco. That must be their mission. So we're going to cancel that. And we're going to pick our own mission. I forgot to do this at the very beginning of the game. The enemy of our enemy? What is this? Aragon's opinion of Morocco. Ooh. I like that. I like that very much, actually. We're going to go with the enemy of my enemy. Aragon should be our friend. The enemy, our er enemy is Aragon, so they should be our friend. I like that. So let's uh, send a diplomat to improve relations with good old Aragon. See, in E3, you really couldn't hope to be friends with anybody who was a different religion than you. But hopefully that has changed in this game, because... 
I don't see why if Muslim nations and Christian nations or Hindu and Buddhist and such, if their goals line up to the destruction of a certain nation, then they should be able to, uh, to, to join together and help each other. I, even if that's only for a little bit of time before they go back to hating each other. But that's just me, I guess. We need more charge cavalry. Can we afford charge cavalry? Yes, we can, we can. Okay, I said, there we go. Okay. So, an alliance offer from Granada. We're going to accept that. And all the alliances we can get, and that 4,000 troops could mean something. Sometime. In the future. Now, these guys have the mission to kill us, apparently. So that's cool. Um, he's working. He's working. We can never get an alliance. We gotta, gotta get it up there, you know. See, I don't know how to form a coalition. I like the idea, but I don't know how to make people join the coalition. Don't even know if they do. I think it, it might just be like free will thing. Like they'll join when they want to. You don't offer them to join. They just kind of join. Anyways, um, so we're making positive monthly balance. That's good. That's always good. Um, could probably afford some more horses. Two more horses. I said more horses. There we go. For all you uh, bronies out there, that might be a good spare no expenses. Use caution, use caution. I remember that one from EU3. That made me so mad sometimes. Because if you said spare no expenses, it would be so much good stuff could happen. <clears throat> Sorry about that. No, I said, yeah, combine. We're gonna go get a free military leader, because apparently, according to this, we can hire a free military leader. They lied. They are darn dirty liars, but we'll take them. Musari Aris. Now, I don't know what year this game goes to, but dang, time can fly by. Alright. So it's time, I do believe, my friends, to reclaim Kuta. But, uh, yes, we're going to do it. <clears throat> Call out willing allies. Tunisia would say yes. So let's declare war. And then we'll send our people over to Tunisia. And we will ask them, that we will call them to arms, and they will say yes. So this war is now me and Tunisia versus Portugal, Aragon. That's not good. Port we're at war with Aragon now. Either way. Now what I want to know is what province mode is. Are we are we even conquering anything? We should be. Oh, I see what they're saying. Yeah, no one cares. There we go. So, what's show province? That's it. That's province view. Exiting out of there, apparently. So, I see no Portuguese troops heading our way as of now. The war seems to be going rather smoothly. Let's see if we can. Are we at war with Castile? No, we are not at war with Castile. Yeah, they still hate us. We are still trying to get our relations up with them. Oh, are we not anymore? Did we call everybody out or something? 
Hungry now, command the Lord. Papal controller. Uh oh. That's not good. Countries at war. Of course, the countries at war. See, I don't like this right here. Ooh, that's cool. Split in half, no. Your ports are blockaded where? Aragon. Well, I mean, I suppose there's no reason to sit there and let them do that. <clears throat> Might as well kill them if well, if we can. Whoa, this makes no sense. Why are we losing? We got better ships than them. They got an admiral. Oh god, they got more ships than we thought. They got more ships than we thought. Run. Run, run, Rudolph. Sand's gonna take it down. Then I better hurry now. He's gonna take the freeway down. Oh, the city's burning. <laughs> burn, my enemies burn. Or our enemies, viewers. Countries at war with a bunch of people that I really have no interest in being at war at with. So, so yeah, I would like to have peace with the Aragonese. Why would they not accept it? They they wouldn't accept it. They don't they don't like it. No, they don't. What treaties do we have with Portugal? Why would we have treaties with Portugal? I don't know. This is taking forever, though. I do know that. At least Portugal's not sending troops to reinforce. What's... Oh! That would be why most of their troops aren't over here. Because they're over there, making trouble in Tunis. Might have sent some help over there to our Tunisian brother. Our Tunisian brothers. Oh, we're a rivalry. Okay. You know what? We need to set... I forgot, guys. See, I haven't played this game much. I did download the demo and play a little bit, <clears throat> but not too much. Current piety. That's cool. Alright, anyways. Uh, where is the rivalry then? Probably diplomacy. No, here? No? This is strange. There's a place where you can pick out rivalries. Oh, we already have rivals. Oh no, it's Aragon's rivals, not ours. Well then. Ooh, inflation's going up, that's not good. Let's raise war taxes just for the heck of it. Yes, I want to raise war taxes. Um, while we're trying to find these rivals. <sighs> don't know where it is. You think it might be military or diplomacy? I don't... Is that... Is that our... No, because... We're a rival of them. Now, where... I want to go to Morocco. I want to click on Morocco. Dang it. There we go. So, we have to have some rivals. Okay. So Algiers is definitely a rival. Um, Portugal and Castile are rivals, definitely. So let's find them. Castile, Portugal, where are you, Portugal? I know you're hiding somewhere. I saw the peas. Peas are up here. I don't know the alphabet. Don't don't judge me. There you are. There we go. So we got our rivals. We don't have as many allies as we would want. There we go. The surrender of the city. And we are still... Not being too good in the War Department. Why is that? Why is our war score the way it is? 
Why is our war score not the way it is? Blockade! Wow. A blockade. They are really not willing, willing whatsoever to, uh... Oh, they, they like that. Apparently they're not very good and happy with that. What's this? Well, no, we are not going to surrender in any way, shape, or form. Mainly because of the fact that we are better than them at this point. Um, it'd be nice if we had a leader, a naval leader, which we are going to hire. Is there military power? Hey, we got one. Nice our Beru. I'm assuming these are historical leaders, by the way. That, that's interesting. I like little moving units. Oh, God. Son of a cheesecake. Are you serious? We ran head first into that. We lost some ships, too. Dang it. Well, I mean, it was Portugal. Oh, can we walk across here? Can we walk across to the Iberian Peninsula or something? Oh, we can't. Can we not? See if we, if we could walk across, that would be amazing. Too bad, because still hates us. We're at war! Oh, Portugal's having a little bit of problems. Um, our ally over here, Tunisia. They're under grave threat. So we're going to have to go to our dear enemies, Algiers, and ask for some military access, which they are not going to give us. So Tunis, I'm sorry, buddy, you're all in your own. We're not gonna be able to get troops across the great Atlantic. We need more early carrots. So really we this is weird. We've kinda done everything we possibly can at this point. Um, cores and claims. Yeah. There's, oh God! What, what did we get? What did we get? A call to arms. A conflict against Castile. Yeah, here's where this whole uh, call of call of arms thing is coming. Granada. I might just have to say nada to Granada. Because I'm just that lame. I wonder if you can walk across. Armies can be sent across there. What does it say? Important center of trade, increased coring cost. Okay. Will it? Does it tell you anything? If like, no, it doesn't say that you can walk across. It doesn't say that anywhere. So maybe, just maybe, we can walk across. The reason I was checking over there is because you can. I know you can walk across from those provinces. But uh, no, we are definitely not going to, I don't know. I want to accept, but I know if I do, we are going to die, so. Sorry, Granada, you are going to die, not me, not me. Wow, Tunisia suffers violently. See, that's See, that right there is pretty messed up because we have this right here. 
18 negative 8 percent We're the only people who've conquered land in this engage in all these engagements. But the Tunisian military is over there fighting, losing battles. Okay, there we go. So, what could you do? I mean, seriously. I'm being serious. I want peace. Because this is getting nowhere. I want to invade Castile. Oh, you know what? Invading uh, these guys would probably be the smart smart thing to do, but we need to build up our our navy. It's an offer. We can a few. We can refuse actually. Yeah, we really have no choice. We can say, oh, look at that, Aragon sending troops. Head over to Metalia to meet them in their in their horrible, 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 horrible conquest of my lands. And as I learned harshly while slowly playing while playing the game earlier, it matters little what type of hill advantage you have that needs to be fixed. But of course it won't be. Alright, so thirteen Portuguese troops. I mean uh yeah. Can we take them out? That is the question. I believe that the answer is no. But we shall see. We need to build. Oh god, no. Less galleys, less galleys. More early carols. We need to build as much of those as we can. And then we need to strike back at Portugal, who probably has an amazing naval leader. But you know, we just need more troops. Alright, let's pause for a second. And let's uh, click for a hint mode now. Where was it? Where was it? Ledger. Oh yes, I love my ledger. Uh, armies. Here we go. So total. Said total. Yep. Okay. So Castile has twenty-five thousand troops. Big problem. Not going to be invading them anytime soon. Um. Algiers only has nine thousand. We have thirteen thousand. Where's Portugal? Is Portugal seriously down in the 4,000s where we saw them earlier? Like, are they really that bad? I don't think they are. No, they're definitely not. Let's put them by a country. And let's look down here towards the peas. Oh, they're upside down. Duh. Portugal. 6,000 troops, alright. <clears throat> that explains so much. And that explains why we're going to invade them. Like, now. Is there a separate, there's a separate fleet? Around? Yeah, Granada, poor Granada. I'm gonna die. So close to having that early Karak done. We're definitely not going to attack then. No, we we die in immediately. See that four guys? He's roaming off. But you see, you can't see what's under all that. Well, you can. They really shouldn't see random fours. I mean, those four boats can make a difference in a battle. So. Oh, there's their four. And Amon Armando Real. There's the Navy. Uh, sorry if this episode's a bit boring. It is the beginning, after all. And we're kind of trapped, considering all things considered here. Um, they would not give us military access. No way. On Earth, they would give us a access. So we're kind of stuck here with Portugal's province. Let's see if we can make peace. Um, sue for peace. Um, they would not. They don't like it. So we we want that. 
and in return we'll do this. Does that not kind of work for these guys? No? They, it doesn't work. They say it doesn't work. They don't want a white piece. Well then, alright. Fine. We're just going to build up our, our uh, navy until the day that we can attack the, the dirty tricksters. We got kind of we kind of got a beat in a couple of the building areas. Um, they don't have any galleys, and oh, they have one galley, and we have we have none. So we want to beat them in the galley area, <clears throat> definitely. So we're gonna build some galleys, get our navy built up, and then we're going to crush Portugal's navy as their spies run rampant. And then we're, we're yeah, you know what? I wonder what these guys think. I wonder what these guys think of the war. I don't know if these guys want want peace. We're gonna send it to them, even though we know that they're gonna reject it, in hopes that they'll kind of get an idea of what we want. Um, this video is probably getting kind of long at this point. Um, so, grand plan: conquer Castile, conquer the Iberian Peninsula, and then expand and make a great Muslim empire. Convert to Islam and march up into Europe and show them Catholics what it's all about to be Muslim. Because they're going to be Muslim. Paris, we have a mosque, we have a mosque in it. It probably already does, but you know what's going to happen? It's not going to have any churches. Yeah. Because we're going to be mean like that. Um, we're gonna stop war taxes. I just remembered that we were doing that. Please stop war taxes. Oh god, yes, I want to stop imposing war taxes. Ooh, I don't want to lose money, uh, but I do want to gain manpower, so that's good. Uh, oh yay, this is, this is interesting. No, no, stop! Stop, go back, go back! Oh, we, what did we do? We absolutely raped those, uh, four... Uh, troops. We lost um, all that time. We spent on these carrots. That's great. Ooh, Portugal's moving there, moving our way. Wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? Unbelievers may have. Oh no, no. Law must be restored. I'm a big believer in law. Law must be restored, or else bad things will happen to everybody. Nobody wants bad things to happen to everybody. And oh, we are winning the war against Portugal. Some magical, for some magical reason, let us quickly, quickly negotiate peace with them. For now, very quickly, we must negotiate peace with the Portuguese. Now that we have uh, some stuff, they would, they would do it. They would do it. That they would do it. That's that's wonderful. Would they give us some money? No, they would definitely not give us some white piece. No, we don't want a white piece. Oh, they're not willing to give us Cuda or Suita or Cuda. Well, that sucks. We'll just build up our navy and we'll we'll solve this problem eventually. Yep, we just made some more troops, and now our navy matches Portuguese our navy. But we got to get out of the war with these guys. We just have to. There's no... I mean, really. No, no, no. We're not going to make you consider it. Okay, yeah. We'll give you some... We'll give you a, a dollar or two. We'll give you... A, no. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. W come on. Just kinda get a feel. Come on now. Get a Aragon. Who else are we at war with? Navarra? I bet they're a vassal of Aragon. That way we can't. Yep, we can't do much. Yep. 
so we're in trouble. Because we definitely need air, uh, air them out of the war. We don't want... So we can conquer Portugal. Army-wise. Our army's big enough to do that. It's just that we can't just... I mean, we have, we can even, we even can have, we can even claim to kind of have the ships. Not yet, because we don't have enough big ships. Once we get enough big ships, we're going to outclass them in every category, except for COGS. So do we. So, that would be interesting. Wait, uh, Moroccan, Portugal. Portuguese, Moroccan, nah. Yeah, we're going to use that as a base to launch an assault on Castile. And then the Moorish Empire will be remade. The Reconquista will have been worthless blood spilt on the lands of the Iberian Peninsula. Peninsula. Um, but yes, guys, uh, I'm going to stop the video here. Because um, I don't want the videos to get w way too long. I want it to be about 20 30 minutes. Uh, I think that's about what it has been. So, thanks for watching. Uh, this hopefully will be posted today, the, day, the day the game came out. If not, early tomorrow. And I will have some more Morocco videos for you very, very soon. So, stay tuned.